Welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. And if you're new here, this is a channel for barbers to help grow their skills. But this video is actually aimed at the mothers who are cutting their children's hair or whoever is trying to cut some hair at home in a very simple, easy way just to get you by until you can get back to your barber. These are the tools you're gonna to need today. You're going to need a clipper. Really doesn't matter which one, especially for this haircut. And you're going to need a liner of some kind. The last thing you're gonna need is a guard. So this is a number two. A number two is a quarter inch. You can check down here. If it doesn't say number two, it might say six millimeters or it might say a quarter inch. Just attach it to your clipper and we're good to go. I'll post links in the description to my favorite ones. And you're also going to need a pair of shears and you're going to need a comb. So. One of the first things we'll start out with is here's your pair of shears, right? This is your ring finger on your dominant hand. You're going to stick it through the top ring. Pinky is going to hang out on the finger brace, two fingers on the tang. And this is how you're going to work this, this shear, okay? And the reason why we do this is so that I can hold my comb and my shears in the same hand, okay? You see how I'm doing that? Piece of cake, all right? All right, so without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so we're going to begin... By with the number two, we're gonna go up the side of the head, right? And if I take this comb and I place it flat along the side of my head, you see where it right, right where it leaves my hair? That's the angle of attack that we're gonna use. We're gonna be coming straight up, but we're gonna keep it resting on the head, balancing on the head, and we're gonna travel around the parietal ridge area, removing all the hair below it and knocking that clipper and knocking that length down to a number two. This is as easy as it gets. Just try to rock your wrist. Make sure that you hold it flat. Um, with this guard, it's actually going to be quite easy because flat is here. Uh, every time that you manipulate this length, you're going to change uh, the length. And you're going to notice that there's a lever on the side. And we're not going to get too deep into the lever, but just make sure it's in the closed position. So if it's down, uh, that means it's going to leave the hair a little bit longer. If it's closed, it's going to be a little bit closer. So we're going to keep it closed while we do this whole process. Rock and roll. Go around the whole head. Try to stay against the grain. The grain on this child is coming down this way. So we're going to go up and against the grain. And I'm going to give you a rock solid system for cutting the top. It's going to be a piece of cake. And we're going to be able to get this haircut. And just to give you some time before you reach, you know, your next, just to give you some time before you get to your next barber appointment or whatever you're going to do in the future. So we're just going to remove this bulk. Um, try to go against the grain in the neck. A lot of times kids' hair grows a bunch of different ways, and we're just going to make it easy by taking it down with this number two. However, in the barber shop, they would take this a lot shorter on the back and sides, and this is actually going to be like a four-part video series where eventually I'm going to do a skin fade on this gentleman, and it's going to come out uh, real nice, but I just want to show you guys stuff that you can actually use, and if you actually do, do decide to go a little bit further with it and you want to try that, by all means, give it a try. So now we're using a technique called arching. Uh, if you notice, my middle finger is balanced alongside of his temple as I travel around the back and sides of his ear. Now that's why we like to use as barbers, most barbers like to use a T blade because it just makes this process a lot easier and we can get a nice clean line. We're going to travel down his neck towards his nape, but we're not gonna try to go all the way around. Uh, this is gonna be a much easier way to actually get it evenly uh, we're going to jump over to the other side. We'll knock the sideburn off. I'm going to show you guys a little trick to make sure that they both are even at the end because that's that can be kind of a trouble. Uh, but again, arching around this other side and just trying to take off less. Less is more. And each time you, you take off a little bit, just check it. And be careful because children have a very thin amount of skin around their ear. So when you pull their ear down, if you if you actually touch into their ear like this, there's a pretty good chance uh, that you're going to cut them if your machine is not set up properly. Uh, so again, be careful around their ears and just move really gently and use a very light hand because you don't want to accidentally cut the kid uh, because obviously you're going to freak him out, especially if he's a younger kid. You might freak him out forever for haircuts and then he won't sit still till he's over 10. So we don't want that to happen. Uh, we want to make sure that he's comfortable and happy. So now we're going to travel down uh, the left side of his nape moving towards the back and things are going to start getting you're going to see that stuff is starting to fall into place we still have to cut the top obviously and when we do cut the top we're going to we're going to show you a rock solid technique to do that but now i'm simply going to connect my line to each side and now this takes a little bit of this takes a little bit of practice a lot of times you'll think that uh, a lot of times you'll think that you'll have it perfectly you just have to use your mirror um, do your practice 
and just move his head up and down a little bit so that you can see if he's going to be looking funny when he puts his head back up. Sometimes that changes the way the hairline looks. So just take off a little bit at a time and just make sure that you got it good and try not to push too hard on the neck. Otherwise, you could really irritate the child's neck too. So you don't, you don't want to do that uh, or you, you could wind up you know, causing him some, some irritation. So that's pretty much it for the back and sides. We're good. We know we have a little bit of blending to do in the top, and that's where we're going to start this, this top uh, bit. So we're going to begin in the center with a mohawk section, and we're going to go ahead and cut that. And I'm actually going to hop over to my other view. Okay, as you can see, the mohawk guideline is straight down the center. So this is a top view, view. And we're going to just cut straight down the center. So let's just say this is, his, this is his head. And we're coming from about here. We're going to leave the bangs out of it. And we're just going to make this section go all the way back. And then we're just going to pick up hair right beside it. And we're going to use this as our guide. This is a stationary guideline. And we're going to section just this little bit of hair right here. And you're going to begin cutting. So one more section, cut. One more section cut. So essentially we're moving back in these nice vertical rows and you're going to be able to easily get, we're going to be able to easily get those in there. We're going to move to this other side and now we're going to move to this other side and we're just going to continue traveling back. So what you essentially did was you took your, your Mohawk guideline and you transferred it and you distributed it to the right to the left, to the right, to the left, until all of your hair is even all over the top. It'll take you a little bit of practice, but this isn't really that difficult. And the more you practice, the better you'll get at cutting the top of a child's hair. So you're actually going to, I mean, this could be, I keep saying child, but this could be for anybody, your husband, whatever, it, it really doesn't matter. So if I'm looking straight on, just to further kind of solidify what I'm talking about, if I'm looking straight on, let's say this is the top of his head, and you initially did that mohawk guideline, you cut it here, and the rest of the hair, if I directed it straight out from where it grows, let's say the rest of the hair is hanging out here, right? So once you cut that, once you cut that, this is what it looks like now. You've cut that little mohawk section. Now we section that side right beside it, okay? And you cut this off. And maintaining 90 degrees is really important. So wherever your fingers are, they're coming straight out from the scalp. And if ever you have a trouble with that, you need to just put your comb on the top of the guy's head and you'll see right where it sticks out, or girl's head, right where it sticks out, right where it sticks out. So 90 degrees, if I tried to hold it here and it was tipped like that, that wouldn't be 90 degrees, okay? And these degrees come from a protractor, which 90 degrees is obviously right here. So if I put the protractor on the top of the head, you can kind of see uh, where this is coming from. So in the last step, I'm going to come down his bangs, and I'm going to cut straight across his bangs. Remember, we left the bangs out of it the whole time, and the reason why we did that is simple. We need to blend the exterior length into the interior length. So I'm adjusting the bang length right now. And now I'm actually going to turn him sideways where we're going to be able to see how to, how to blend those two lengths together. So now he's sideways, right? And you address your bang length. Now you have your interior length. So let's say that your interior length is this and your bang length is this. All we need to do is make sure that we, we connect our interior to our exterior length. So you don't want to recut this. You've already cut this. All we want to do, a lot of times when you pick up these sections, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see something kind of like this. You're just, going to, you're just going to knock that off and blend that in. And we're going to do that across the whole front of the forehead. Now, if this, this particular guy, he wears his hair kind of spiky and messy on top. So if your child does the same thing, the bangs might not be as important. But this is in the event that the person wears a bang and we want to make sure that we don't accidentally cut the bang uh, while, we're, while we're working with it. So in this last little step here, we're going to use a little scissor over comb. So I'm going to take my scissors and my comb and I'm going to just comb it all down while I wet it again. And I'm going to travel up and just knock out any of that bulk and you can kind of see the way I'm doing that. If you don't do this perfect, it's still going to look better than some of the ones I seen walking around at Walmart. So I think that if you guys do this haircut, you're going to find it pretty easy uh, to, to actually complete this cut and make it look decent. So this is how I check the sideburns, get behind them. I get down on the eye level, hold my finger there, 
and uh, jump over and cut the side that's uneven. And other than that, this is going to be a wrap. So I really hope that you guys learned something today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you liked it or if you got any questions, leave them down below. And if you want to stick around, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about like several different ways that you can texturize it so that when he spikes it or when he wears it or if the hair is thick, uh, to texturize means to remove bulk without affecting length. And also it can give the hair a lot of movement. So if you guys are interested in that, stick around for the next video. And if not, thank you for joining the YouTube Barber Academy. I'm Mr. Eddie Barber and I'll see you guys in the next video. Damn it, Tito. Another one? Wait a minute, before you guys go, I wanna invite you to hit that bell, hit subscribe, and stick around because we're gonna go live all the time. It's far more interactive, it's a lot more intuitive, you'll learn a lot more, and uh, we'll go through this video and many others as we continue to grow. We build off each lesson from the last week, so don't miss out on that opportunity. It's free, it's fun, and we're gonna have a good time and a lot of guests, and we do giveaways. So I encourage you guys, hit subscribe. Other than that, man, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.